When Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th, one of the first ways that they decided to enter the country was from Belarus into the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Now, three months later, we've come back to Chernobyl to assess the damage that has been left behind. So here is the Chernobyl territory where we are now. Up here is Pripyat, and this is where the uh, Chernobyl power plant accident happened. And this white square here is where a lot of radioactive material. And all this brown area that you see in this map here is uh, forest, it's all greenery, which really has the capability to catch fire as we saw when the Russians came and invaded the Chernobyl area at the start of the war, when we saw all these fires break out. So when the Russians decided to occupy the Chernobyl zone, most of them were living in these forests like this. And you can imagine how bad the radiation was for them. But according to this detector here, if they had just moved out a tiny amount from the forest and stayed on the pavement, you can see how much the level decreases and it would have made an incredible difference to their lives. Відбулася окупація зони відчуження повна і відбулося майже повне знищення технічної бази, яка вкрай необхідна для реагування на лісові пожежі. Дуже значна територія лісових масивів, зокрема в'їзди заміновані після російської агресії. But these were being these fires were starting because of the mines, is that correct? Ну, достовірно наразі, поки вони не закінчаться і територія повністю не обстежиться, то цього виявити е, неможливо. Ймовірно, що так. Двадцять четвертий ранок нас застав з дружиною в Чорнобилі. На підприємстві і взагалі в Чорнобилі не залишилося ні одного підприємства, яке було б не пошкоджене. Це, це пограбування, звичайне пограбування. Now this is just one of the many Russian setups that they had made themselves inside the Chernobyl area. Now, as you can see behind me, there is several foxholes that have been dug inside the Chernobyl grounds. Now, this is incredibly dangerous because if you go two meters below the circles, the radiation levels are the same as what they were in 1986. So you can just imagine how dangerous that was. And that's why many of them ended up having to go back to Belarus because of the acute radiation poison poisoning that they had given themselves. Now, we can't actually enter this grass area just because of how, he how heavy the radiation levels still are. And there's also mines that will be in this, amongst this area here. So it's incredibly dangerous territory right now. Sarah Williamson in Chernobyl for Newsmax.